you mind if I borrow that towel really quick? Just got a business meeting I gotta take care of. Yeah, he goes, good morning guys. Just gotta go f take a phone call. That's cool. I'm a little tired. All right, cool. Guys, <laughs> good morning, hot tub. Good morning, Fox fam. Welcome back to another vlog. I actually just woke up 15 minutes ago. I don't have time to go in the hot tub, but I have time to stick my head in it, and that's well worth it, let me tell you. Oh, guys, before I do this, don't ever forget two free iPhone Xs. Any orders over $25 on the website until November 23rd. That's all I want to say. Oh, yeah. Felt way too good. I regret nothing about that. I also regret nothing about getting this jacuzzi. That was a phenomenal way to start today's video. I wish we had time to actually sit in it though, because this thing last night, after I filmed that cinematic edit, guys, by the way, um, if you're new here for some odd reason, uh, this is a hot tub that Sean surprised me with. I suggest watching yesterday's video. That was a good phone call. Guys, I got so much done just now on that phone call. Are you ready for this? Oh, I'm like super ready for the day now that I've had my phone call. Oh, oh no. Snap. I forgot we have some unfinished business we have to take care of. <laughs> what the heck are you doing? Here. Hey mom, we have a hot tub. I know, I can't listen. By the way, my mom's in Utah. This is rare, man. This is this is super random. And you're just kind of like in it. Like I didn't tell them, I didn't hype it up or anything. You're just like here. Big morning plan. We're about to hop in the Porsche. Always got my T Fox fanny pack when I'm traveling. Let me officially intro this vlog, guys. Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. As you can probably tell, I'm joined with Sean Duras in Utah right now. And oh, we're headed yeah. to the mall to play professional nerf. It's called Dart Side. <laughs> it's called Dart Side and it's like legit nerf. We're gonna go attack each other with like high tech nerf guns. It's gonna be dope. And then we got a big day planned. Ooh, straight into the mountains, baby. Let's get it. 2 a.m. I'm posted. Dope all in my dance floor. Move in the youth. I run with my treat. Yo, block like a dance floor. Finesse or ran out the landlord. We have some definitely very important business we need to take yeah. care of. We were driving. And I saw, well, well, me and Sean both saw a very large pile of leaves. And of course, we're gonna go jump in it. Oh my god, these poor guys are just cleaning up leaves and like four cars show up. Yes! I'm going! I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> that was amazing! Wow, I got leaf particles everywhere. Oh no, Sean's getting in the big boy. Thank you guys so much for letting us jump in your pile of leaves. High five, man. No, he did not. No, he did not. <laughs> Sean, yes! what? That was intense. Okay, that was a good little pit stop. We're woken up now. It's like the hot tub, but it's leaves. Sean, where's your hat? Go find it. No way. That is the worst place to lose a hat. There's no way he finds it. What? How? Okay, good morning, guys. Make sure you wake up, smile, make sure you have the best day ever. Make sure if you see a pile of leaves, you go jump in it. It is about 9.30 a.m. right now. I have dunked my head in a hot tub and I've jumped in a very large pile of leaves, guys. Today's gonna be a great day. So if you guys are curious as to why my mom is in Utah, Sean, why is my mom in Utah, bro? Cause we're gonna have the best day ever. We're gonna have the best day ever when we're gonna do some fun stuff. Anyways, my mom's just like literally just here hanging out for the day. Uh, she's going home tonight, super random, I know. I've never played with like professional Nerf guns, so it should be fun. Still thinking about that off-road vehicle, I see Jeeps everywhere in Utah. Haven't seen a Ford Raptor though. I know a lot of you guys want me to get the Ford Raptor. I, I'm obviously not gonna get like an older Jeep like that. I want a brand new uh, Jeep Rubicon or a Ford Raptor. Those are my two options that I need to decide through. So you guys help me, comment down below. But the mall does not have fake Logan Paul merch. And Jake Paul merch, what is this? We're in Utah. Oh my God. Yo, they got, where's my merch though? I'm kind of, I'm kind of disappointed in this mall right now. Yo, where's my merch? You got Logan Paul and Jake Paul's. What? Why don't you got my merch? Why don't you got fake T-Fox merch? You got fake Maverick and Jake Paul, bro. You gotta get T Fox. Come on now. Stores are getting yeah. tricky. They're learning how to plug. I was actually hoping you could help me find like a red solo cup. No, dude, I was actually looking for a red jumpsuit that said YouTube Boy. Uh, oh, you were? Yeah, and I think I found one. Do you wanna get the YouTube Boy suit? Ooh, I would love that. That's actually me. You have me. to have your hands like this all day, though. <laughs> what are those? Look, guys, this is where it comes in handy. Hey, but you can play next time. <laughs> no big deal. Buttons! Ready your breakfast and eat hearty. For tonight, we dine in hell! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Lil Fox, Lil Fox. Big, flow. Big Flow, that rover, it goes slow. Big. Skirt off in the race car slow mo. Skirt. I don't wanna see your face no more. Yeah, I'm back and I'm better. Don't hit my line, just send me a letter. Yeah, she switched flow like a lake if I let her. If you offer me gum, I'ma say no, never. No, yeah, I'm working yeah. hard every day and every night.
Well, mom, this is what it's all come down to. It's what you get, mom. You're going down, Holiday. You better shut that big mouth of yours. Three, two, one. Hey, we just been working all night and all day. And with the real and we kick out the fakes. And you know we still get a noise complaints. Hey, hey, we do it best. Yo, I got the go boy. We do it best. We do it best. We do it best. Hey, hey. on Instagram, come and find me. Got your boy T5 getting down. I want me to the bitches talking shit. But your boyfriend want me on a real rap song. Not that music, holy. Got these Scottsdale kids. Yeah. First victory. They had the big gun. Still took it home. Sean's team won. Sorry, mom. Uh, kind of whooped your ass a little bit there. When you birth me, I just, I'm, I'm gonna grow up and then beat you in their force. It's kind of how it's how childs work. All right, we're taking a photo now. I gotta stop vlogging. So I was just asked to sign this gun, and my mom signed it. And wait till you see your signature. Check out my mom's swag right there. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Moms, moms have the same signature as your son. I, I respect that, mom. High five. High five. Bye, dark side. Thank you. I love you. All right, we're leaving. It's not even noon. I've jumped in a pile of leaves, in the hot tub, and I did my first Nerf War. Guys, so since the orange team won the Nerf War, make sure you cop some merch, guys, before the 23rd, because we got two free iPhone Xs coming. Because the orange team won, have the yellow team won, you could not cop merch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> since we won, we are doing an iPhone X giveaway. Well, actually, we have two iPhone Xs to give away, so any orders over $25 get entered in the giveaway until the 23rd of November. Woo! We're gonna go get some food. We're done with food. He's down for a canyon run. Let's go. It's the one year anniversary, guys. All I'm saying is that my left ankle doesn't have any screws in it. Oh, and we got the Porsche. Yo, you guys have canyons in uh, Utah? Yeah, hop in, dude. Let's go. Let's go. I'm down. Am I going in here? Or with... Oh, I'm in the front. Oh, no, I'm going with Alex. Okay. We're all switching up because my mom wanted to go in the Porsche, but we are going back to the space station right now because I got to get my vlog up, man. Rest in peace, Lil Peep. Mom just pulled up in the Porsche. This is so random. We're just in Utah. My mom, she's so out of her habitat. Oh, cool. There's a toilet there. I was wondering where that was. What did you think about the Porsche, Mom? Oh, my God. How fast did we go? Dude, we got, Mom, we hit 100 on that. I mean, we In went, Mexico. You went to Mexico. Yeah, we went. We hit the speed limit on the way home. When you were in Mexico. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. All right, Fox fam. So this vlog is going to take a little bit of a 180. I'm sure a lot of you know, and I'm sure there's a lot of you guys that don't know, but today, right now, and this day and time when I'm filming this is November 20th. This is actually um, one year exactly from when I got in my car accident with my two friends, Danny and Maverick. Basically, I just wanna kinda revisit the whole topic and I wanna revisit the whole event. So for anyone who doesn't understand, let me kind of explain what happened. So one year ago, today, November 20th, 2017. If you go back one year, November 20th, 2016, was the day I got in my car accident. It was about six o'clock at night, me and my friends were bored. Long story short, I went out to my car, I got in my car, I was ready. I was like, all right, I'm going home, I'm driving home. And then my friend Maverick came out and he's like, hey, we're going on a canyon run. For anyone who doesn't know what a canyon run is, it's it's when you go in a canyon and you drive on it like a racetrack. Basically what happened is we decided to go on a canyon run. I had never been on a canyon run before, ever in my life. This was also five days after I bought Guaxilla. We're going around a right turn in a canyon. Maverick's brakes give out, he tries to brake, they lock, the wheels slide, and we flew off a cliff. 
Um, basically, it was a right turn. We flew off a cliff onto the roof of the car, landing on another car. At this point, it's completely dark outside. I didn't hit my head, um, but I ended up breaking my right ankle and I had to get two screws in this leg. And then I split my chin open and a few other little tiny injuries. And then the driver, Maverick, broke his nose and got a concussion in the kid in the back seat, Danny. Um, he had a few little problems. I can't really recall exactly what they were, but basically that's what happened. We were all insanely lucky to survive. And that's why that's why I'm talking about it because it's a year later and I'm kind of revisiting the whole the whole event and talking to you guys about it. it. It was a really surreal thing. And if you guys saw this video, it was a much more in-depth kind of talk on what went down throughout that whole night. Like, cause I, I didn't hit my head. So I remember everything. I wasn't knocked out. I got out of the car. It was the most surreal, like crazy experience of my entire life. Like I remember every single little tiny bit of it. I remember hearing the voices of the people when we crashed and I remember hearing them like, hold on, we can't find you. Cause we were, keep this in mind, we're in a canyon in a mountain and we just so happened to land in someone's backyard. This whole recap and coming back to the subject is to like be thankful that I'm alive. And if we didn't land upside down on that park truck, we would have gone down a hill into a giant propane tank. And honestly, we probably would not have survived if that happened. So we were all very lucky. And I just want to use this as like, that's kind of something for you guys to think about and to always be thankful for everything you guys have. Make the most out of your life because at any given moment, I know it sounds depressing, but at any given moment, it could all end. Same for anyone around you. That's why it's a really touchy subject to me because it really like hits home and means something to me. That's why I wanted to talk about it and remind you guys and sort of use this as inspiration and motivation for some of you guys or whatever the right word is. It was a ridiculously crazy time. I was in the hospital for three nights. I had just hit three million subscribers and one million on Instagram. I guess that's like the biggest message I wanna give to you guys. Your life and your loved one's lives can be cut short at any given moment and that's the reality of life. Make sure you hug your loved ones and make sure you're thankful for your life and just make sure you make the most out of your day. That's why I preach to you guys to follow your dreams and not let other people get in the way of what you want to do because it's your life and it could be taken away at any moment. I keep saying it was insane and it was crazy because I don't know, I don't have a big vocabulary, but it was literally like so, it was just mental, like the whole situation. I remember there was a moment when Maverick was knocked out in his seat, locked in his seat upside down. I got out of the car and I started yelling for help because we were in the middle of the mountains. I didn't know where we were and I was just screaming. And at this point I had got out of the car and then I realized that my friends could actually be injured. I, I, I was assuming that they would be getting out of the car. Like that's what you obviously you assume, that's just human nature. Like, oh, they're probably getting out of the car. But like, you don't think about, they could have been seriously injured. So I look back in the car, Danny's stuck in the back. Uh, my ankle shattered, like completely like doesn't work. I have so much adrenaline, I'm not even thinking about it. There was a point where Maverick didn't talk for like 10 minutes. At first, when I got out of the car, Maverick told me, he's like, no, don't call 911. And he was telling me to shut up because he was so like delusional from hitting his head. I know this sounds like intense and it was so intense and I remember every little bit of it. So like I'm saying, if you want to hear more about this story, go check out the video I made one year ago. There was a point where Maverick didn't talk for 10 minutes and I got worried about him. And I remember the family told me to stay down. They're like, no, 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 your ankle's injured. You need to stay down. And I was like, no, I need to check on my friend. I got up and I looked in the car and he was locked in his seat upside down with blood Sorry, this is really graphic, so if you guys have a faint heart, don't listen to my story. There was a part where Maverick's face was so covered in blood and he was upside down in his chair. I literally thought I saw him dead. Like my best friend that I grew up with, I thought that I like saw him dead. That car ride would have been the last moment I saw him if we all were not okay in the incident. So that's why I wanna use that um, to teach you guys and to help you guys. If you're struggling with someone, I had a, a big problem with my dad. Um, you, I'm sure a lot of you heard of that. And I, I've made up with him um, over the past few weeks and I'm, I'm so glad that I did. So if you guys have a loved one that you're not talking to, use this, like, please just text them, say what's up, tell them you love them, go give them a hug, go have lunch with them. Don't take anything in life for granted. I guess that's the biggest story I wanna take from this. It's, it's definitely a heavy, a heavy subject. So now that I've kind of gone through the subject and I've, I've talked about that, let me give you guys an update on my ankle. I'm sure you hear me talk about it all the time, but um, so I have two screws in my ankle. Basically, I fractured my tibia and fibia, or I think I fractured my fibia in a few places and then I dislocated my ankle like beyond like belief, like like super effed up dislocated. So basically, this is how they explain it to me. I could be completely wrong, I'm not a doctor. There's something in your ankle like this, mine was like that. So they had to relocate it like this and then they screwed it in. That's what the doctor told me from what I remember. I was also on morphine for like three days, so I don't really remember. I was out for about two months not walking and then I got a walking boot and then started walking again and then everything kind of from there was uphill. From having surgery on November 22nd, which is in two days, to walking on January 5th is a crazy like come up. Like 
super like fast healing process. Maverick's nose is still broken. He never got it fixed. I mean, I'm sure it's healed broken, but it's still a little crooked. Danny is all good from what I understand. Also, I haven't talked to Danny in quite a while. Danny, if you're watching this, love you, bro, miss you. I remember also being in the hospital and my mom thought it was a prank. And I remember like, I, I didn't want to call her because I didn't want to freak her out and she was making dinner. She called me and like didn't believe it and then ended up calling the hospital. Anything could happen and it could feel like it's fake and it could feel like it's not real, but that's the reality is that it could be real. So that's why I'm telling you guys to go hug your loved ones and, and make the most out of your life and follow your dreams and do what you want to do. You only get one life. So make the most of it. Anyways, uh, I just kind of wanted to touch on the subject a little bit and kind of go over it and talk to you guys about it. We're gonna get back into the space station. We got some gaming stuff we gotta take care of. Uh, yeah. A few moments later. She got AirPods! So we just so had a meeting. Excited. My mom's only been in Utah for probably like six hours and she's headed back to the airport. I'm she got her AirPods. Oh. Um, these are like life changing, so congrats <laughs> on those. Love it. Yes. Our Fox on yeah. my wall! <laughs> If you ever see my mom in public, ask her for a signature. Guys, no more sad stories, all right? No more meetings. It's game time. This it's is game why time. I came here. New game. Last time you guys played Rock League, this time, Battlegrounds. So oh, I know like a couple thousand of you commented on the last video when I asked you if you played Rocket League, but now we are playing a Battleground because uh, you guys know that's why I came to Utah to like learn more about gaming. Yeah, a hundred people drop on an island, you just gotta stay alive. Nope. Easy, bro. Easy, bro. Just I'm gonna you be first. hundred people. Be first. Can I easy. can I be head of the space station gaming team if I if I do good here? <laughs> Take your, yeah, your station. It. I'm ready. You do it. See the red keys? That's gonna be your walking. So like Go. up, left, right, down. Well, buttons. Over I do here. that all the time. Are you guys in a party? Brandon, we gonna party? I'm in a party. We're in a party. Y'all trying to party? Pookie, you getting in this party? Pookie, you trying to party, bro? Hey, Pookie, you want a pop tag? Oh, my <laughs> God, right now. Oh it's sticky. God. Oh, my God. Wait, two. You got two. <laughs> two pop tags. Oh, my God. Yeah, okay. you guys gotta win. It's too much. It's, we're getting off track, man. I'm trying to play Battlegrounds. Guys, stop distracting me, please. All right, fam. This is my first time playing Battlegrounds. First Wish drop. me luck. Everyone, please go comment down below if you play Battlegrounds. That way, when I get really good at it, we can all play together. I'm just bulling in a plane, guys. <laughs> I'm about to drop down and kill all these people. Three, two, one, jump. Oh, you're going. Okay. Let's get it. Get it. A million subs. Yeah. Oh, you're going to land in the water. Oh, no. Keep I can't going. see. I can't see. Oh, no. You got to make it. You got to make it. You're landing on the cliff. cliff. No. no. How did I mess that up? Let's go down here. This is good. Dude, okay. go cliff jumping. Go cliff diving. Woo! <laughs> Sunset cliffs, baby. It's beautiful out here in Battlegrounds. See this game. Just like your real life. It is. It really is. I went skydiving for a million subs. I'm going cliff jumping at something. Oh god. Now you're swimming. You're what? you're going snorkeling like you just did in Hawaii. I just did that. All right, guys. So um, finally made it out of the water there. Sorry about that one. Just you know, new to the game. Now yeah, I gotta find a here. gun. I get so focused. Don't so look at this focus face. I'm in this. Get that Red Bull. My man's got. No, he did not. I'll give you with that Red Bull. Oh uh, yeah, you got that Red Bull dog. Oh, there's a car. Do I need to shoot him? Shoot no, it! No. Oh, never mind. No, 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 shoot! Stop, stop, stop! stop. <laughs> I shot him. I did it. No, that's your team. Look, see if they have blue names. That's your team. Let me drive. Everyone out. Hit it. Go, go, go! You're getting shot at. Get out of there. Don't hit the rocks. I would never. Careful. We drifted. Canyon run. Go hit a jump, bro. Take it off a, a mountain. Go get that Jeep. This is what I need. An off-road vehicle. This is literally my life. This game is my life so far. Staying on the road, guys. I'm driving like a civilized human being. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, off road The step up. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Look at that buggy. Get out. Go, go, go. Push oh. ass. Get in. Oh, hurry. Get in. Hurry. Uh, where is he? Where is he? I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Go get in the, get in the buggy. Go, go, go. Get in. Push ass. Push ass. Go, 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 go. I don't know where. Oh, oh Tanner's down. Crawl to safety. Crawl, crawl, crawl. Crawl to safety. Where Stay alive, Tanner. Come save us. Where are they? Chill right there. Stay safe. Just chill right there. I'm getting shot at. Where are you getting shot from? Oh! I sent a little fox. Rip fox. What does this mean for your career? Sorry, should I turn off the camera? Or... Does, wait, does, does this mean like I'm not oh, but we're gonna stay in part fight. of Space Station gaming? There's the dude who killed you. There he is. If you push T, you can talk to him. Just... Hey, dude. Hey, you're a... You're a... You suck. <laughs> hey, your mom said that, uh, bro, your shot wasn't even that good. It didn't even get me that well. I died in like a few minutes. You got number 18 though. That's not bad for your first round. Little fox in the house. Dang, bro. I would actually just like to take a moment to thank uh, Space Station Gaming for not only believing in me, but believing in the Fox fam. Thank you to my sponsors. Um, we got HyperX, Mainframe. Uh, we got B&H Photo, of course. Those are, those are a good one. And of course, <laughs> we cannot forget Spiltech. <laughs> thank you guys, I'm out. Tyler Fox, eSports Wizard, ladies and gentlemen. 
We actually don't need a table. Make it a little more personal. Real talk. Uh, I have a question for you guys. So as you guys probably know, I've never really been into actually playing video games. I've always loved them. I've always had like a thing for them, but I've never had friends like involved in video games enough to like actually go play with them and and learn about video games. I'm his friend. I like video games, so I'm having him play video games now, and he's actually pretty good at them. That is exactly why I came to Utah for this very trip. I was here two weeks ago. So after I went home, I did a ton of research on esports and space station gaming. Space station gaming. We got like a battlegrounds team. We have a bunch of different video game teams. We compete. We go to tournaments. It's fun stuff. It's Trying it's cool. I, I I've never been in this world, and like hearing about it, like just him saying that excites me, and like I want to be involved in that. So, without further ado, this is the question. I need your guys' opinions. I need your guys' brain power to make this decision. Should we, us, you and me, the Fox fam and me, get involved in gaming? I could do gaming with you guys. You I could, could, you could be part of Space Station I Gaming. Be, uh, we already like, got teams. I've been saying that. I've been saying, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it just excites me, but I can't do it without your guys' input. So I need your help. Us, the Fox fam, get involved in esports. So, this is how you guys are going to let me know. I want you all to go tweet Space Station Gaming right here and let them know. Tweet them. We want Tanner Fox a part of Space Station Gaming. We want Tanner Fox a part of esports in general. Please just go tweet Space Station Gaming because like I want it and I need to know Do if it. you guys want it as bad as me. So go tweet them. Go say if Yo, we, we get want a Tanner ton Fox. of tweets from you guys, we'll this let you part life. of Space Station Gaming. Seriously, like you guys can get in on this. Me and Tanner will start doing a bunch of cool gaming stuff. We'll fly to events. Like you guys can be a part of Space Station Gaming, part of the teams <laughs> we're building. Like if you guys want to do it, you're in. You guys want it as bad as I do. You, you'll, you'll tweet them. That's that's it, guys. That's that's the big. In other news, I check popped the big out. question. In other news, I check can this out. Uh, I can balance on a chair. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, he's doing it. Oh my, that's pretty impressive. You that's can do what that. I learned in high school. That's pretty bro. impressive. That, that's what you did with your that's high school. That's what I learned with my high school. That's my high school degree right there. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's vlog. Help me out with that question, guys. Go tweet Space Station Gaming. That's going to do it for today's vlog. Hope you enjoyed. Without further ado, peace out. Let's roll the Fox fam. Thank you for watching. Be sure to drop a like. And yeah, go get the merch link in the description. Uh, yeah, roll the outro. I wish you so.